Hello everyone, so today I'm going to do the cross stitch tag, you'll have to excuse the birds chirping in the background, my cockatiel and my parakeet are on their perch enjoying the fall weather. So, um, I'm going to do the cross stitch tag by Shell, and I can't remember the numbers, sorry, um, but anyway, the first question was your favorite DMC color. 321 red. I love all shades of red. Um, I just, red is my favorite color. I'd say better than half my clothes are red. I'm not wearing, well, I was wearing a red sweater with this earlier, but it's warmer now and I don't need it. So, anyway, red is my favorite color. Um, do I stitch Christmas or holiday patterns? Yes. I have a Christmas tree covered in homemade ornaments. Um, I am stitching two Christmas presents right now, and then as soon as they're done, I intend to start Celtic Christmas. Um, my stash has quite a few Christmas patterns. I, I love stitching Christmas. Um, and what book are you reading right now? Chemistry textbook. Chemistry textbook, chemistry textbook, chemistry textbook. Um, when I do read, and I do love to read, um, I typically read romance novels, but I'll read quite a bit. Um, fiction, nonfiction, um, I've been really enjoying fantasies, um, I quite enjoy the Mercy Thompson series, that, that is um, something I've been enjoying. I like a strong female lead, and um, she happens to provide it, and, uh, sorry, but somebody's sniffing my backpack a little too much, and I'd rather he not. Um, so, three random facts. I have a zoo. Not literally, but most people consider it a zoo. I have two cats, a dog, two birds, two rabbits, two, uh, bearded dragons, four hermit crabs, fish, and a hamster, currently. Um, so yes, um, I've had a little bit of everything. I've had ferrets, I've had guinea pigs, um, yeah, I've had snakes. Um, I don't currently have a snake, but snakes are just, uh, I like my snakes. My last one died a few years ago, and I just haven't replaced him yet. Um, I've had big snakes, little snakes. Yeah, I have a zoo. Everybody gets along. Um, we don't really have any pet-on-pet -pet violence. The bunnies can hop around, and the cats leave them alone. Um, the cats don't necessarily leave the hamsters alone, but... The hamster now lives in a glass tank because that's the only thing I don't have to worry about the hamster getting out of. As long as I keep the lid clamped, the hamster's not getting out. So yes, I have a zoo. Um, another random fact. I cannot stand being asked why I don't have children. It drives me crazy. It's a personal question. Whether my answer is... I don't want them, I don't like them, which isn't the case, or I have health problems. It's none of your business, don't ask that question. I hate that question. And it's always, do you have children? No. Oh, why not? I just want to smack people. It's rude. It's horrible. What if, and you know, you don't know if there's something wrong with somebody and they can't have kids. So to ask if they have children, why they don't have children, is horrible. It's a personal issue and don't ask. And then don't say, oh well I'll pray for you because that just, it just makes it worse. It just makes it worse. Don't do it. So yeah, that's a huge pet peeve that annoys me to no end. Um, a third random fact about me. Uh, I'm left-handed and I'm very proud of it. Um, I have been left-handed and I grew up in a family where everybody else is right-handed and my grandfather hated that I was left-handed and went so far as to once tell me only right-handed people could have dessert. So I picked up my fork and ate right-handed, got my dessert and ate it left-handed. 
So, yes, I'm proud that I'm left-handed. Um, I have, for a long time, had a sign up at work explaining why being left-handed was better than being right-handed. <laughs> and I might have to get that sign again. It might need to hang above my desk. So those are some random facts about me. I hope everybody has a great stitchy day. I have to finish up some homework so that I can finally get some cross stitch done this week. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye. Okay, I just wanted to add a little bit onto the end of my September stitching chat. I wanted to sincerely thank everybody who's been subscribing and watching my videos and commenting. I have gotten some of the most lovely comments. Uh, you guys are all so wonderful and supportive. Um, I've gotten wonderful feedback about not only my stitching, but my going back to school and you guys being willing to listen to me ramble on about that um, has been very sweet. Um, and I just wanted to say thank you. And now I'm done. And I hope everybody has a great day. Thanks.